Good evening, dear students. We are just going to discuss about measurements in this chapter. So on the screen, you see the learning objectives. So we are going to start with the SI units, base quantities and base units. Before learning about SI units, SI system of measurements, let us know why do we need a standard system of measurements? Number, on the Galatala, on the Galatala, on the Egyptians, okay, they were very good in architecture, okay, but the form of measurements they used were crude. Yeah, crude, Abdin Solana, they used a hand span, or more foot, Idumadriana measurements they used for it to die. If I Egyptians, Yerkiagwe, they had a longer feet, the feet were long, the hands were long. If we have a lot of people who are living in the world, we will be able to get a lot of people who are living in the world. The length will be larger. If we have a lot of people who are living in the world, the length is going to be small. So, a hand span okay, cannot be used as a standard form of measurements. If the Kala declare they very patamna, not to Kanadu Manizergil in Totra Maru particularly. So uh, if you just talk about the Japanese, they have a smaller hand. So the length of the hand will be shorter when compared to an Egyptian. So these cannot be standard forms of measurements. Abdino or a controversy come with All the people in the world, they wanted one common understanding. A standard system of measurement, and that's how SA units started. In the SA units, uh, physical quantities are measured for a standard form. Okay, so when you talk about physical quantities, we divide physical quantities into fundamental and derived quantities. So when you talk about fundamental quantities, fundamental quantities are those that cannot be derived from any other quantity. They stand in week, like length, mass, and time. But derived quantities are those that are derived from the fundamental quantities. The length, length, mass, length, seconds, length, derived quantities, derived quantities. So what are the fundamental quantities? Seven standard number, basic length, mass, and time. So apart from this, there are also other four fundamental quantities, okay, that has been discussed last year itself, like electrical energy, luminosity, and amount of substance. Like this, they are also coming under fundamental quantities. If I, in this lesson, let us go one by one, okay. So the system of units has been discussed. So what is the system of units? There are three system of units that were formed. Okay, the one is FPS. In this FPS system of units, foot for length, pound for mass, and second for time was used. The next system of units is the CGS system, where centimeter for length, then grams for mass, and second for time is used. And in the third one, the MKA system, meter for length, Kilogram for mass and second for time is used. If I, these system of units were derived ahead of the SI system. The SI system is derived only after this. Okay. And which is called the international system of units. So what is this SI system about? Okay. As you studied in the lower classes in 1960, in the 11th General Conference of Weights and Measures at Paris, in France, the scientists recognized the need for using standard units for physical quantities. That was called as International System of Units and is popularly known as SI system. The scientists chose seven physical quantities as base quantities and defined as standard unit to measure each one. So, if uh, and the seven fundamental quantities of the number Okay. So, on the screen, you are able to see 
length. So, okay. So, length is measured in a unit called meter. And the symbol of it is m, smaller. So, the mass is measured in a unit called kilogram. And the symbol of it is kg. Time is measured in a unit called seconds. And its symbol is yes. Likewise, temperature is measured in Kelvin. Electric current is measured in ampere. Amount of substance is measured is mole. Luminous intensity is measured in candela. Okay. In the first four, we yeah, temperature abdinterde. It is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body in solo. Temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. So to measure temperature, we have other scales like Celsius and Fahrenheit scale also. But the standard unit of measurement of temperature is Kelvin. It is also a higher order of measurement of temperature. The next one is electric current. Okay, in our household, we are using electricity. And how is the strength of current measured? It is measured in amperes. The sixth one, amount of substance. If the amount of substance is called mole. So where is it used? It is used in chemistry by chemists to say the volume of substances. For example, one mole of hydrogen reacts with one mole of oxygen. The amount, the volume of hydrogen is measured by a quantity called mole. The next one is luminous intensity. So what is luminous intensity? Luminous intensity is measured in a unit called candela. How bright is a light? We cannot explain. Okay, it is a comparative value. Understand? It is normally a comparative value. But the luminous intensity is For example, I so it is a comparative value only, luminous intensity, and it is measured with a unit called candela. Okay, so this is about international system of units, and this table we already have uh, discussed in seventh standard. So in eighth standard, we are going to the next part of the lesson. Understand? Here, measure of temperature, but discuss for the borrow. If on the screen we have an ice cream and on the other hand we have an iron box. Okay, A, B. C, but the is burning fire and D is cubes of ice. Okay. Going to